The need for more cybersecurity professionals is on the rise and has been for a while now. If you're thinking about breaking into a new career, enrolling in cybersecurity's program at UMUC should be your next move. Joining me now is Dr. Mansar Hasib, the program chair of the graduate program. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Happy to have you here. I know that Thank you've you. been at this for a long time. Yes. You had a career in cybersecurity and then became the, the chair of the department there. Not the whole department, so that we have multiple tracks. Mm -hmm. So I practiced cybersecurity for 30 plus years in the field. Yes. Last 12 years as chief information officer in a variety of sectors such as healthcare, biotechnology, education, and energy. And then I decided that I have to build the next generation. Yes. And the best way to do that is in education. So we have multiple tracks in the graduate school. Okay. We have a track for digital forensics and cyber investigations because right now everything is becoming cybersecurity, criminal accounting, right. and even art has oh, that crime makes sense in too. it. Yeah. So yeah. therefore that. And then we have the cybersecurity technology program where we groom the technology architects because digital strategy is pervasive mm -hmm. in regardless of what you do, whether you're in journalism or education right. or healthcare, you have to use a digital strategy to drive the mission of the organization. So we do that. And then we also have management and policy because policy is also a very key ingredient in this whole strategy. Makes sense. So those yes. are the sectors. We have a vice dean who is the in in charge of the department mm -hmm. and then I am program chair of one of the tracks. Of one of the tracks. So for people who are watching, because they're watching right now and they're thinking, you know what, cybersecurity sounds pretty cool, but I don't know if that's my background. Your mm -hmm. students have mm -hmm. various backgrounds. Talk about how diverse your, your student body yes, is. Yes, so this is one of the strengths of our program. Yes. By mission, University of Maryland University College is an open university. In other words, we don't judge you by your past. It, regardless of what your background is, your bachelor's degree could be English, political science, it doesn't matter. You can come into our program. We don't have any artificial barriers, GRE or SAT or all, any of those requirements. Mm -hmm. And basically we then treat you as an individual and we tailor the the, the coaching and the feedback right. and the education to you. And because of that, you've got people that have various experiences. And you were telling me a lot of women yes. in, involved in this so, program So yes, as well. for example, in our digital forensics track, 54% yes. are women. This is unheard of in the industry. In, in my own cybersecurity technology program, we have about 26% women. Yes. And in the management policy track, it's 30% women. So this is still pretty good numbers compared to the industry. Absolutely. Where it's maybe barely 10, 15 percent at best. Well, you're leading the charge because you've got several awards and you keep getting them. Tell me about this, <laughs> this SC Magazine Award. So, yeah, so this was absolutely amazing. So when I joined the program, I knew that it was an amazing program. But yeah. part of the thing is that the story of the program hadn't been told. So I made it my business to tell that story and yes. share that story. And so SC Magazine has been giving these awards for almost 23 years now. Mm -hmm. And then 2018, we won the first time. And then in 2019, this May 5th, we went to San Francisco, we won again. So oh it was goodness. absolutely amazing. Yes. Over and over again. And then I'm hearing something also about the cyber, is it Padawans? Oh yes, cyber Padawans. Okay. <laughs> yes. So that is, we have a world champion hacking team. So oh. for example, if an environment has, say, vulnerabilities or issues, then hackers should be able to break into it. Right. So we have this championship team. They have won, won world championships yes. doing this. So, so that is another great way for people to have fun while they're learning. Right. And uh, it's, it's a game, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful program. I know that you've got scholarships as well, but people have to find out more about it by investigating on their own because we're running out of time. But if you go to umuc.edu, yes. they can check them out or check more out about cybersecurity if I can Absolutely. get that out. Absolutely, yes. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Really Thank you for having it. me. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay Thank tuned. You.